We're at the visitor moorings at Cool Pilot. Uh, it's thinning out a bit now. It's bank holiday Monday. Ethel's going to start going mad because she knows when I point a camera at her. Um, we've spent the last couple of days here and we spent a couple of days prior to that in Nantwich. We've been out for about five days and we haven't actually done any videoing which is very unusual for us but I haven't felt in the mood. Um, I made a wise or unwise decision yesterday to chuck all my Parkinson's medication into the canal because I feel that they're doing more harm than good but we'll see so we're gonna we're actually gonna cruise we're going in that direction towards Audlem but then we'll probably turn around and come back again but Ethel's not bothered are you hey Ethel's not bothered So we're leaving um, yeah. Cool Pilots, wonderful visitor moorings, but it's been a bit busy and it's been a bit hot, but today's going to be hotter apparently. Yeah. Yeah. And are you going to be less grumpy? I can't guarantee I'm that. really grumpy, so I'm hoping I can't so. guarantee that, but if there's anybody from Dragon's Den watching, I've got a brilliant idea for a marine fridge. Yeah, but if you could tell these... I'm not going to tell them what the idea is. Because we realise go that as, as good as our solar panels are, the hotter it gets inside the boat, the harder the fridge is working. We might as well not have any sun at all because the fridge is taking all the electric. Okay. So I've got a plan. Go watch, watch this space, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Dragon. We had a bit of technical problem. This this remote control, it's got a lock feature on it. And what? And what? Was it locked? It was locked. No. Look at that for a view. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. But this is where you you put the phone down on me when I needed you. Just here. Oh, I forgot. I forgot which millennium we're in. So I'm trying to figure out when you're going to let go of that. Never. No, I'll just tell you that's where it was. I was like. I thought I'd lost signal, but then I realised he's a childish ape. Are you in shot there? Because I can't see that screen. I don't know, but you're a childish ape. As long as they've let's, heard let, that. Let's twizzle it a bit. Oh, yeah, missus. Yeah, that was the other day's disaster when Tom had a puncture on his... Yeah, well, actually, I looked at the inner tube, it was more of a... A blowout. Yeah, I think I will call it, but there was like a hole that. Well, we, we abandoned all that footage. That was in the never to be seen again bin i'd like to say it's because of some amazing technical error but it was just crap yeah we've had a, <laughs> we've had a bit of a rough few days but hopefully now i've chucked all my medication in the no 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 canal. no you did actually put it in the canal but put it in the bin but no i'll put it in the canal what well i could have put it down the sink and it would have still ended up in the canal behave so there might be some less jittery fish around, but they certainly weren't doing anything for me. Oh. Yes, Daddy's a bit out of practice. What he's doing is right at the moment is, is hitting the side because I keep saying when well, we're on the boat. This is one of those bridges that isn't a I bridge. No, but what annoys me is right. He makes everything complex. Oh. Rather than just enjoying the boat, he wants to do other things at the same time. Welcome to the Pickering Channel. Am I going in a bush? Front left. <laughs> yeah. Well, what are you doing? 
Concentrate where you're going. I'm a bit out of practice. For those of you that were bothered to watch last last year's video, we gave Narbut potteries the measles. Uh, red oxide, with some Pete, red, ox outside? red oxide is a temporary measure. Well, we got touched over the black because you know the black bits always get rubbed on boats. So that's just the way it is. You know how uh, that might be. You know that that spray pump we've got. Yeah. You know why I said to you it didn't come with any fittings and it was really really cross. Yeah. It came with fittings. I thought I'd seen them. I said on any book. Oh. Anyway. For the last couple of days we've cleaned this side off and we've got rid of the measles so now we have only got measles on the other side and if we can be bothered and I've discovered we'll do it on this trip that if we can get all the mud out of the little cracks it'll be alright for when we shove some we will preview at some point our new toy we still not done that? no, well we scrapped it all didn't we? Yeah, but I still think that most, most people on the cut had one five years ago when they first came out Oh, I've never seen anybody using one. Anyway, Yet. now I'm now other remote control works. We're heading towards Audlem. Uh, we're going to turn around, bright eyes. Every now and then, uh, we're going <laughs> to. If it's not too far, we're going to walk up to the services at Audlem. We do need water, but the tap is about three locks in. Which means we'd have to do the whole 15, turn around and then come back again. What's up with you? Well, has that been in mud? Oh, I hope not. Anyway, more of this later. I've had to put a bit of a spurt on. I don't, I don't normally like going at this pace, but those people with those beautiful teddy bear dogs you were walking. Like, they were like walking. They were walking at the same pace like, as us. Well, they were walking like this, and I don't speak dog, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. I'm Ethel's going. saying hi. My name's Ethel. Yeah, and they're going. I want to play with you, and they were going. I'm gonna bite your face. I hate your face. I'm gonna rip your head off. Yeah, I'm gonna so, rip you to pieces. That's so, what so we had to put a bit. Of yeah, yeah we, had, we, we had to give them a bit of space, but yeah. I mean, the people are very nice, and the, well, dog, I mean, I the dogs are lovely. Going, she was like, oh, I really want to meet you, and they were like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it was funny. <sighs> What is it you want me to do? No, I just said, right, I just said that my man movie things just put that up. He's asked me to feel his... 
never seen they've gone down because I've lost weight. I'm happy. Well, you know what it is? What? Oh. <laughs> There's a little valve on the end. And if you if you suck out... <laughs> the, that's rude. That was a bit over the top. And stop. <laughs> We're just passing over Water Marina. How far are we from, from turning around a bit? Oh, not, not far. Well, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, okay. I didn't realise just how how big it is. I don't know how many, but I'll, I'll look it up. I don't know how many boats it holds, but it seems to be quite a big marina. People keep on asking us because we don't live far from Wardlam. People say, why don't you go to that marina outside Wardlam? And our answer is quite simple. I'm sure it's a wonderful marina, but if you come out and turn left, which is that way, you're all right. But if you come out and turn right, before you get into, into any meaningful uh, countryside, you've got 25 locks waiting for you. The first 15 will be five minutes after you leave the marina. And we don't really fancy that idea. But it looks a beautiful place. God, it is massive, it goes on forever. A bit like me. Welcome to Mono Clock. What time is it? I have no idea. Mono Clock. What's up with you now? Well, I was just going to say we're passing over water for the second time. We, we would have beautiful. loved. We would have loved to have stayed in Audlum, but it was so so busy. The towpath is so busy. So we're we're heading back. Not necessarily where we started from, <laughs> but somewhere near there. We want. There's no. There's. We couldn't get in. All the other boats were in. We must, we must have a deeper draft than everybody else. No, I, I, there was a reason why that was. It was, too, it was a lovely space, and there was a reason no one was there. There was another boat. Not, yeah, no, none of the rings were in the right place. But you, you get that wherever you go. But we, we, we couldn't get within two foot of the side. So we're going to find somewhere nice and quiet. Hopefully, where Ethel can have a run round. But we'll see. It's getting a bit busy. I'd be surprised if they're not half part there, right? Really? Just got a bike at the place. We're in a little bit of a dilemma I because. Have back to yesterday, we? Yeah. There's a boat behind us that we don't want to annoy by going too slow, but there's a high boat just come out of over water. And it seems to be zig it's in front of us. I don't know if the front camera will get it. It's zigzagging and <laughs> bouncing off each bank so we don't want to get too close it might go as as boating david calls it full-on suez <laughs> so we don't want to get too close we spotted a nice mooring but it was too late i'd overshot it that's the end of the arnco I just hope that we can get in on the shelf. So we're reversing back up to it. And then that'll be enough for today. Because Ethel's fed up. Aren't you Ethel? <laughs> 